Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMood. Here we have interesting exponential equation in a trigonometric form. So we have 16 to the power sine square of x plus 16 to the power cosine square of x equal to 10. Okay, how can we solve this? First of all, we can simplify a little bit. We don't need this sine or cosine. We know that sine square of x plus cosine square of x equal to 1. This is the classic trigonometrical equation, so we can use it. So, we can represent this cosine square of x like that. Cosine square of x equal to 1 minus sine square of x. So, in the future we will have the same exponent. We don't need this cosine, we just represent it as 1 minus sine square of x. So, this rule we use. So, 16 to the power sine square of x plus 16 to the power 1 minus sine square of x equal to 10. So, we just represent these cosine square of x like that. Nothing hard. Yeah? What we're gonna do next? Let's break this exponent. We know that if we have e to the power m plus n, it will be equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. So, let's break this exponent like that. 16 to the power sine square of x plus 16 to the first power and times 16 to the power minus sine square of x equal to 10. Nothing hard. Just use a little, a little bit algebra. So, let's drop this in the denominator, because we don't need a minus in denominator. So, 16 to the power sine square of x plus 16 to the power, first it will be 16 times, and let's write this 16 to the power sine square of x in the denominator, and it will be with plus sign times 1 over 16 to the power sine square of x equal to 10. Nothing hard. Just two things, the first thing and the second thing. Represent these cosine as a sine and break this exponent. So, what are we going to do next? We have 16 to the power sine square of x and 16 to the power sine square of x. So, we can use a substitution, so we can write as 16 to the power sine square of x, for example, equal to y. Let's do this. So, we will have y plus 16 times 1 over y equal to 10. Nothing hard, I guess. Just make a substitution a little bit. So, what we're going to do next? Let's multiply both sides by y, because we don't need this y in the denominator. So, we'll get y square minus 10y plus 16 equal to 0. Just multiply both sides by y. So, what we're going to do next? We have a classic quadratic equation, so it doesn't hurt y first, it will be equal to 8, and y second, it will be equal to 2. Sum equal to 10, and product equal to 16, two classic roots. Okay, so we make, made a substitution like that, so we just need to make two equations, because we have two roots right here. So, we will have 16 to the power sine square of x equal to 8. Let's try to solve this equation at first, using this root. Ok, what we're gonna do next? Let's represent this 16 as 2 to the fourth power. We can do this for sure. We will get 2 to the fourth power, and 
sine square of x for sure. Equal to 8 we can represent as 2 cube for sure. Okay, what are we gonna do next? We have the same base but different exponent and we have a variable in our exponent. So we just need to write an equation with our exponents. 4 sine square of x equal to 3. Let's divide both sides by 4. Sine square of x equal to 3 over 4. For sure, take square root from both of the sides. Sine of x equal to square root of 3 all over 4. Just take the square root from the denominator and the denominator. So, we will have a special case sin s x equal to square root of 3 over 4. How can we solve this? This is a special case, so it's nothing hard. x equal to minus 1 to the power n arc sine square root of 3 all over 4 and plus pn. n is that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. Yeah. So, arc sine square root of 3 all over, all over, all over 2, sorry, 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 all over 2, not 4, all over 2. So, this is a classic special case, so x will be equal to minus 1 to the power n, arc sine square root of 3 all over 2, it will be equal to p divided by 3 plus pn. n is z. And this is our first root, our classic root, so it's good. Okay, let's try to solve the second equation. So we will have 16 to the power sine square of x equal to 2. Nothing hard, as in this case, we can represent this 16 as 2 to the fourth power sine square root of x equal to 2 to the first power, the same base, and we can for sure write an equation with our exponents. 4 sine square root of x equal to 1. Let's divide both sides by 4. Sine square root of x equal to 1 over 4. The same case, case is here. So let's take square root from both of the sides. Sine x equal to square root of 1, 1. And square root of 4, it will be equal to 2. Okay, the same case right here. So x will be equal to minus 1 to the power n arc sine. 1 over 2 plus pn. n is z. Yeah, classic case. So we can for sure calculate this arc sine 1 over 2. It will be equal to p over 6 x. So this is x1 for sure. And this is our x2. It will be equal to minus 1 to the power n arc sine 1 over 2, it will be p over 6 plus pn. n is d. Really good solution, really good roots, classic trigonometrical roots, so this is our x2. And this is a solution to this interesting exponential equation in trigonometrical form. First of all, using this rule to represent cosine through the sine, so we have, in the future we will have the same exponents as well. Next step, break this exponent. Next step, using a substitution, because it's really hard to, to work with this. Quadratic equation, really good roots. 
and for sure to classic special cases. So, if you agree with the solution, if you have any notes, if you have any suggestions, write a suggestion in the comment and thank you guys for watching. See you in the next videos.